What's up, freaks? It's Steve Becker from Peak Physique Personal Training Bootcamp and Boxing in Nanuet and Suffering. This is Steve Says, episode number 64. 64 freaking episodes. Quick sound check. If you can hear me, just put a thumbs up down there in the comment section. We're going to get rolling. Today basically is going to be about, as I pull you up on the second screen, someone asked me the other day, well, today's going to be about, I, I mentioned it earlier today, focused around the F word. And several months ago, last year, we did one about the F word, and obviously everyone just assumed it's going to be the foul language, usual Steve stu- stuff on Steve Says, and but the F word was actually the word friends. So today is about the F word again, and this time there is no trick to it. There is no secret additional word. The word actually is the F word that you're thinking of this time. It is not friend. And we are going to get rolling. Because someone asked me the other day, they're like, Steve, why do you curse so damn much? Because maybe that comes off unprofessional. Or maybe people are not going to take you serious or whatever. Just getting you pulled up on the comments down here. Maybe someone's not going to take you serious. Or it just seems unprofessional. Why do you curse so damn much? Well, we're going to go over that in a second. We're going to break this down from the top in all different areas and all different angles the way we always do on Steve Says. You know how we do it. It's Steve Says, Steve Says, episode number 64. Some people will hate, but most can relate. Bring in the fucking fire every second of every second, and there's the first one. The first F-bomb. How horrible, right? You know that Steve Says is a live show on how to have a no-excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles preventing success in your health, your family, your finances, so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and live life on your own fucking terms. That's what it's all about. It's about trusting the process, having a no-excuses, badass mindset. That's what it's all about. The invasion's coming, and we must be ready. We must defeat the enemy. It's coming. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below in the comment section, if you can hear me. Also, put that comment down there below. And we're going to get rolling. So, yes, why why do you curse so much? So first, I always have to start these things off with a, almost like a warning, not a warning, but for certain, sometimes for people, because you know, it says, some people will hate, but most can relate. And please don't mistake my overly enthusiastic delivery or nature or however the hell you want to describe it for any kind of lack of professionalism or anything other than just me being overly passionate and and truthful and just boiling with passion about what I say, what I do, and for just making an impact and getting a point across. So please do not mistake it for anything other than that. So when when I enter a room, I tell myself, or any situation, or a video, or anywhere that I'm going, a room, an event, or if I'm speaking at an event, or I'm coaching, or training a session, no matter what it is, running a meeting, when I enter any situation, or a room, I think to myself, when I leave this situation, what, what do I want maybe to my impact to have been? What do I want to people to think about once I leave that place? What is, what is really me? What, is, what am I going to leave behind? What part of me am I going to leave in this room? And it always comes down to energy, which is basically enthusiasm, action, because we just take action and we're all about action, which is it could be craziness it could, and having just confidence and leadership. It's energy and action is really what it is. That's what it is. And you could fall into that enthusiasm, confidence, just maybe being, you know, making an impact, leaving that impact in the room. So being memorable, what makes you, so before we even get into why you curse so much, what makes you memorable? What's memorable about you? How do you leave an impact when you leave a room? How do you mark your fucking stamp on a situation or on the room when, when, you're, when you're there or when you're leaving or after you have a, an event or whatever? So, why do, I, why do I curse so much? The horrible F word. The, a, a sound that comes out of someone's face without 
direct like insult to someone or intending to insult someone could be, be so horrible to some people. Again, some people will hate, but most can relate. So let's talk about it. It's I, I spent a long time in my life probably not being who I was, not being who I was for whatever reasons. We're going to get into that in a second. So I just realized it's, it's, t- it's time to be me. It's time to be me, to be authentic, to be who I am and, and to act and speak and let it come out the way that it just comes out in a natural way. And if it happens to me saying fuck a lot, then that's what comes out. And a good thing about it is by doing that, you kind of can weed, by just being who you are, you can kind of weed out the people who are not a good fit for you in your life because some people hate, most can relate. The ones that can relate are going to be a good fit for you in your place, in your space, in your fucked up world, whatever that is. And others that are not, it's going to weed them out. It's going to just exit. The exit sign is here and that's fine. There's, there's, that's fine. You're never going to make everyone happy. So Not to say that you shouldn't be open to changing or evolving and growth and all that other stuff, but let's let's go back a little bit. So where did it come from? Where did it come from? From every other word coming to mouth being fuck this, fuck that, and it's not that way anyway, but you get the point I'm trying to make. So it comes from basically years, maybe not even years, probably, like seriously, if I have to think about it, not years, but decades, decades Listen to that. Decades of me living in a shell. Now, can you relate to that? Being afraid. Not being myself. Being a people pleaser. A fucking ghost. Decades of that. So, can you, can, can you relate to any of those? And a kid sitting alone for years and decades. Playing with himself with toys. Don't get all perverted on us. We, we, we curse a lot, but we don't get too perverted here. Not too perverted. Sometimes, maybe. But and, and if the worst thing about me, that now decades later, after from knowing where I came from, from the rock bottom from, of society, to knowing where I came from, and the little bit of growth that I've had in, in, my, in life, then if the worst thing about you is that you say fuck a lot, I consider you a pretty successful fucking person if that's the worst thing about you. If that's the only thing and the worst thing that anyone can really say about you is, wow, you awfully, you say fucking awful lot. You lived a pretty good fucking life and you are really on, the, on your way to big things and success. If that's the worst that anyone has to say about you. If you sit there and perform or you did some kind of presentation or you did a Facebook Live video. And you can get a comment of, why do you say fuck so much? If that's all the only you can get out of it, you're on your way. You're on your fucking way. I'll tell you that. One thing I can't hate is people saying, I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. And you won't hear me say that shit. Yes, I'm just being me. But you won't hear say Usually, almost 99% of the time, the people that say, I'm just keeping it real, they're the fakest motherfuckers out there. So this is like a different, that's a whole different angle that we're talking about when we're talking about being yourself. You know, the difference between being yourself and being real is, is different. It's being yourself. If you're a fake gossiping fucking douchebag, then yeah, you need to be a little more open to change and open to suggestion to maybe change your approach. If you're just being one of those assholes, keeping it real. I'm, I'm keeping it real, man. Yeah. Keeping it real as an asshole is a different story. Keeping it real as an authentic person that's out there. If you're out there trying to really help people and, and, Make an impact on the environment that you're in, wherever you're having. You're consciously thinking, like, what impact, what positive impact can I make in this situation? Then that's what, if you want to say, keeping it real is. But you always see the people that say keeping it real, and you're like, motherfucker, I know the truth. Who are you trying to kid? Stop hiding behind that damn keyboard, you fake motherfucker. But that's a whole nother, we've talked about that many times in the past. So, like, like when someone says, what, what is it? As, to be honest with you, you hear it. To be honest with you, I don't know why this just made me think of it because it's kind of the same situation. They're like, you know, to tell you the truth or to be honest with you, like, motherfucker, we're talking for 20 minutes and now you're going to say to me, to tell you the truth, 
this, this, and this, and this. So you're telling me the other 19 fucking minutes, you weren't telling the truth. The other 19 minutes, you weren't being honest. Like, any one time that someone says, to tell you the truth, to be honest with you, or I'm keeping it real, they're probably not, and they're probably a fucking asshole. Besides the point, whole other, whole other conversation. We'll, we'll leave that for another day. So, but plus, I didn't invent the F word. I didn't invent the F word. I've actually done studies now. There's actually studies and tons of them and research on cursing. Cursing during presentations or speeches or meetings or whatever. Because I've had the opportunity to do some presentations, some speaking, and I go out there and you speak to the audience and sometimes I can get overly enthusiastic, fucking astic like I am right now. And there's a time and a place for everything, of course. There's actually research done on this stuff, and there's arguments for it and against it, and if you say it, it shouldn't be on your slides, you shouldn't be written, but maybe you can say it to prove a point, and it can enhance your presentation and make it more memorable and more likely that your audience will remember your key points. So you should try to strategically place your F-bombs into what you're saying. Now that is one of those keeping it real motherfuckers. That is one of those, to be honest with you motherfuckers, that strategically, that's not authentic. That's, you're purposely going to throw in an F-bomb because you think it's going to make a lasting impact. Make, just be, be, get your point across and ooze enthusiasm and to get your point across. Not all this other crap. So that's, that's the one thing. There's, there's been, I was looking it up because after I was talking, after I was thinking about what I, you know, this topic, I'm looking it up and I'm like, holy shit, there's all this fucking research all these people, and there's doctors and psychiatrists and specialists, and they're talking about cursing during presentations and in public and at, at, at meetings and whatever else. And, and besides, listen, it's not like I just walk around all day dropping fuck bombs all day. Like, when I'm going into the grocery store or going into wherever, and I'm opening the door, and someone's 10 steps behind me, and I stop, and I wait to hold the door for them, I don't, it's like I'm saying, hurry the fuck up, hurry the fuck up, fuck, 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 no, I'm just holding the door open for them, because that's just me, and who I am, and in another situation, I may drop an F-bomb all the time, but that's just who me, and I'm gonna be who I am, and besides, this is totally nothing to do with anything, all right, Someone's holding a door for you. They're way ahead of you. You're like halfway across the parking lot. And they're just waiting just out of courtesy. And it, it could be a man, woman. If they're within like striking distance, hold the fucking door. On top of that, when you walk through the door that someone waited for you, only there to hold the door for you. They didn't even know you from nothing. When you walk through, at least a nod or an acknowledgement, a thank you, something. Not that they're doing it for a thank you, but just, just saying. Keep that in mind. We get, we, we get off on tangents here because it's just crazy like that. But... It's not like I'm just walking around in every situation or anytime I speak, it's just fuck, 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 fuck. It's not, that, it's not the way it goes. Like if I'm going to teach weight loss and nutrition to a bunch of nuns, it's not like I'm going to tell them, listen, you have to stop eating so many fucking carbs. You know, there's a time and a place and naturally you, you don't have to think about it even because it's just going to be natural. It's going to be automatic like a machine because you're just who you are. And you're, you know who you are in every situation. It's going to come out the way it's supposed to come out in that situation. That's keeping it real. I don't have to think, oh my God, it's, it's, it's nuns. I better make sure I don't say fuck at all. I mean, you don't have to think about it. It's just not going to come out. It's just part of being who you are. Because you are one of those straightforward, good people that will hold the fucking door open for people. So... If, if I do have a message and write, did you get my message? Did you get my message? Does the fact that I sprinkled in some fucks and shits on top of my message, did that prevent you from getting my message? Some, a couple of sounds that came out of my voice box, out of my mouth, did that prevent you from getting the fucking message? Did you get the message? And if you couldn't hear it because of those sounds or you know a word or two that, that came out of my mouth, then there might be something more deep to look at other than me having a problem with saying fuck here and there. There might be something else a little further to look at, like some maybe some self-limiting belief or some barrier in your own mind that needs to be overcome if you can't handle something like that because of it's not someone's not conforming to the way that you think the world should be and not conforming to your set of you know narrow-minded beliefs or whatever. And this, of course, we're talking about cursing, right? But this goes with you can use this as a metaphor for anything. 
about people picking apart anything you do. Like I was, I was in this, I took this workshop one day and there's a high level coach and he's talking about doing a, some, some specific letter and something and the, whatever he's talking about, he says, leave it under your Christmas tree and save it there for Christmas and then open it up. It's some, it was like some self help personal development. It was an awesome stuff. Great, great workshop. Leave it under your Christmas tree. Wait till Christmas. Open it up then. It's going to be the greatest gift you can give to yourself, right? This whole thing doesn't matter matter what it was under the tree. So someone says, what if you don't celebrate Christmas? And this guy lost his shit. And this is like the most polite guy whenever he's like, what a dick, he says. Like, what a dick. It's, it's, it, I, what if you don't celebrate Christmas and you're just assuming we have a Christmas tree? Like, what kind of asshole is that? If you didn't get the message about leave this message to yourself, this handwritten letter to yourself under your ch- Christmas tree, if you didn't get the point of that about kind of celebrating yourself, celebrating your victories and being proud of who you are, if you didn't get that message because I said leave it under a fucking Christmas tree and you don't celebrate Christmas, you have some other fucked up shit going on in your head. You need to get over that shit. Just because you don't celebrate Christmas, you might not believe believe in some fucking fat guy with a white beard skimming down your chimney, dropping you some fucking presents. You might not believe in that shit, but you can still get the point of the message. That's the point. So stop holding yourself back with the bullshit in your head and the conforming shit that you think the world needs to cover in your head and cover all the bases to make the world nice and shiny and happy. Especially when that motherfucker talking about, oh, you're leaving on the Christmas tree is probably one of those, to be honest, to tell you the truth, r- keeping it real, motherfuckers. Guarantee that motherfucker that said, well, why are you saying put under the tree? What if you don't celebrate Christmas? Why are you just assuming we're celebrating Christmas? I guarantee that motherfucker says, to be honest, at least 10 times a day. Says, I'm keeping it real at least a couple times a week on social media. Guarantee tee it. And I guarantee they're the fakest motherfucker and they're just being out who, who, out in the world who the world wants them to be instead of being who they're fucking meant to be. Be who you're fucking destined to be, not who the, the society is telling you to be. And if who you think you are, like I'm being myself, again, if that's a pure just asshole and a lot of fucking fake ass, like liar, like backstabber, gossiping fucking bitch ass motherfucker, then... Don't be that. Okay? Then don't keep it real. So, and think about saying all these other things. Like an athlete. Look at an athlete. I can respect it when an athlete shoots a three-pointer at the buzzer, misses it, and loses the game, and starts screaming, fuck! What's the first thing they say? Fuck! Or shit! The first thing. Because it's, it's, it's authentic. They have so much passion bubbling out of them. They work so hard for that. I can respect that shit. Or you win the lottery. You win the fucking lottery. If I said to you, if I said to you, listen, I have a million fucking dollars for you. You just won the lottery. You just won a hundred million fucking dollars. Since I said a hundred million fucking dollars because I was so excited. Holy shit, you won a hundred million fucking dollars. Are you going to not hear that message because it had fucking it? So stop picking and choosing that bullshit. Stop nitpicking the world. Stop being so fucking sensitive. Get the sand out of your ass crack and just keep it moving. And that's why I could like it comes out natural out of an athlete or so excitement or someone that's upset or pissed off, something that worked so hard for. Just break out of your shell. Break out of your shell. And again, where I said it kind of weeds being your being authentic, as long as you're not one of those assholes, being authentic, if you're a door opener and not a gossiping asshole, be a door opener who's authentic. And someone can't tell you, oh my God, you say fuck too much. Listen, I'm opening doors. I'm opening doors. I'm making an impact. I'm making a positive impact. Changing fucking lives. So you're going to weed out those people who aren't a good fit in your life. And that's fine. Let them switch lanes and go to a different lane, different direction. That is totally fine. That's why our number one core value in our business is bring the fucking fire every second of every second. And that encompasses all of our other core values. Really, if you bring the fire every second of every second, that's all you need to do. Everything else will fall into place. But that also is like a barrier of entry. If you see that that is our number one core value, bring the fucking fire every second of every second, and I do use the little at symbol on the fucking, it's like F at symbol, blah, 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 whatever. That's how I still, I I will type it out on social media or whatever, but bring the fucking fire every second of every second. If you see that, and you still continue to come in for your meeting or for your training session or for your business coaching or whatever else it is, then we know, all right, 
some people can will hate, but most can relate. You're in my lane. You're in my kind of person that can relate to the way we do shit and the way that we b- believe, what we believe in, and how we fucking roll. And if not, that's fine. But if you get through that and you see that, that's our number one core value. That's our barrier of entry. That's what's going to weed out the ones who are not a good fit. Right off the bat, that's no problem. That's no problem with that. I have no problem going the other direction. So be be your freaking self, I guess, if you want to say. It just sounds so generic compared to how much we're taking, you know, how how much we're going into this. And it's it's just, it's in your, be what's in your blood. It's in my blood. It's in my blood. Anything less than what you see and the way that I get my message out would be, and it would be less than natural. It would be a fucking fraud. And I can't stand those, to be honest with you, to fraud motherfuckers. To tell you the truth, to be honest with you, those are the frauds. Those are the frauds. I'll trust someone who says, shit, what the fuck did you do that for? I'll trust that person a thousand times before I trust the person that says, well, to be honest with you, what are you talking about? Be honest with me. You weren't before. I would trust that person a million times. It's just who I am. It's might maybe, it's, and that's who you are. That's why you can relate to this. And I see the reactions and I see how things go out there with the, you know, in, in general in society that uh, most that you can relate to this. I bet you can relate to this. If you can relate to this, Give me a thumbs up in the comment. No, 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 no. If you can relate to this, give me a middle finger in the comment. Even better, if you can relate to this, give me a fuck yeah. Not in the comments. Give me one out loud. I don't care where you are. Get, unless you're with the nuns teaching them about weight loss. Don't give it to them. Because we, we still want to be, you know, not a, a, a complete, you know, you don't want to be, you want to be a little respectful with that. So as long as you're not teaching nuns weight loss right now, give me a fuck yeah. Out loud. Scream it out. And I will leave you with this. Of course, I'm going to leave you with no excuses, but even better than that today, I'm going to leave you with this. You are fucking awesome. Get the message?